Ah, uh, here you are at last. I've been waiting for you. Where were you? Not far. I'm never too far. You were gone so long, I've missed you. I had to go. You know I can't bear to be in the same room as him. He knows all about you, I told him. I know. I prefer it when you're here with me. I feel safer. He's going to come in any moment now and I'm scared. I know, that's why I'm here. I have to tell you something about him. What is it? You're right. It's not safe. He's dangerous. Why do you say that? What do you know? Just take my word for it. Is he going to hurt me? He'll try to get you to take some pills, but don't listen to him. Pills? Yes, pills. He'll hide them in your food. He wants to poison me. He can't be trusted. I've always been a good girl. Why does he do that to me? Who knows what goes on in his head? He's a dangerous man. But I don't understand. We don't really know him at all, do we? No, it's true. Wasn't around much. He wants me gone. Gone? But I don't want you to go. I told him I want Louise to stay with me. Yes, but he insists every time. And now he thinks he can feed you pills to make me go, to make me disappear, just like he did before. Who does he think he is to interfere in our lives? You're right. Who the bloody hell does he think he is? Becky, we don't need men like him. It's always been the two of us. It must stay that way. Do you remember that time we played hide and seek and we hid under the bed for ages and ages? He was so mad at you when he eventually found you because you made him late for work. How cross he was that day. He flew into a rage because you made him late for an important meeting. I remember. And the time when you went out to the cinema with Jimmy, remember? Sweet Jimmy, we call him, because we were sweet on him. He'd been waiting for your return all evening, nursing an empty bottle of whiskey. When he caught you kissing Jimmy goodbye, he got so mad. So mad. Called you a slut, didn't he? You're a dirty slut like your mother, he yelled, all while Jimmy was still standing in the doorway, feeling sorry and ashamed for you. That would have stopped to it, didn't it? <laughs> and all the other times? Don't tell me anymore. Please, I don't want to hear anymore. We don't need him to tell us what to do. Do you understand? I understand. Wait, what? We could make him disappear. Disappear? What do you mean? Vanish. Don't you think someone might notice and start asking questions? So you tell them you don't know anything. Always deny. Deny everything. Deny everything? Just like when we were little girls. Mm -hmm. Now you get it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Just like that. Stop pacing and pull yourself together. Listen, I've had an idea, but we have to work together on this one. I know where to get hold of some Zopa clone. You'll put some in his Jack Daniels and off he goes. Then what? You call an ambulance and tell them he was drunk and fell down the stairs. Oh, I forgot to say. You'll have to push him down the stairs once he's asleep. I don't know if I can. We agreed he can't get away with what he's been doing to you. You know you can't take it anymore. Take a look at yourself in the mirror. You become a shadow of your former self. What if it doesn't work and he catches me? Red-handed, he'd kill me. Mm, probably. So it's kill or be killed. You want your freedom, don't you? <coughs> look at me, Becky. Look me in the eyes and say you'll do it. I'll help you be free of them. We've stuck together until now, through thick and thin. Just like when we were little. Hello, sweetheart. I've been looking for you. Hi, Dad. Who are you talking to? No one. I prepared your favorite meal. Macaroni cheese. Just like when you were a little girl. Did you use Mum's recipe? No. Uh... I made it my way. I don't need to. I'm not hungry. <laughs> you must eat a little. Come on, you'll like it. I've made it specially. Please don't make me.
me, Dad. I don't want to. For Christ's sake, eat! No, I can't. She told me not to. Who told you not to? Louise. Ah, I thought she'd gone. You swore to me you were going to let her go, that it was all over. She came back. I can't help it. Enough of all that nonsense now. I thought you were stronger than that. But you're weak. Do you hear? My daughter is weak, just like her mother was. I tried, Dad. I really did. Is she the one you were talking to just now? Is she still here? Where? Tell me where she is. Over there in the corner. There's nobody here. Are you lying to me? I see him. I'm not lying. She can see you. Why are you doing that to me, girl? I'm not doing anything to you, Daddy. You need to be locked up in an asylum, you know that. Yeah, he should be the one locked up in the loony house. <laughs> oh, you think I'm funny, do you? It's Louise. I work my ass off all day and come back to that. Work all day? You only sit at a desk and push papers around, you lazy bugger. <laughs> Stop laughing! Stop laughing at me. It's not me. It's her. She's funny. Is she now? What would happen if I was to put my hands around her throat and if I tried to squeeze tight right here, right now? Don't do that! Please, Daddy! Is that what he did to Mother? Ask him, Becky. Ask him. He wants to know if that's what you did to Mother. Yes. In a fit of rage, did he grab her by the throat and squeeze so hard until she couldn't breathe anymore? Until she couldn't scream any longer and all became quiet? But it wasn't all quiet in the end because hiding in the corner of the room was a little girl crying for her mother. I told you he was dangerous. Do you believe me now? He needs to go. I believe you. I'll do it. Do what? Nothing. It's between me and my sister. Oh, between you and your sister. Mother, hide and seek, sweet little Jimmy. That's right. Between me and Louise. You're always trying to interfere, to break us apart. But it won't work. Together we're stronger than you, Daddy. Why do you hate her so much? Because... Because you don't have a sister, Rebecca. You never had. You're an only child. Rebecca, I apologize for the wait. An emergency, you understand. Where were we? You were asking about my father. That's right. Tell me again, Rebecca. What made you kill? Your father. 